we'll pass <laughs> something on sooner or later. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I mean, it sounds like those upgrades are going to be cool either way. The butt kicker, kicker definitely as well. Kinda, yeah. Kind of yeah. fill the road beneath you when you're exactly on, on your yeah. seat. So uh, yeah. No, we definitely tried those out before. I think we had it in the office one time. I think we just bolted it to one of the office chairs just just to that, see. Yeah, what they have do. a mount you can just screw right onto the bottom of a chair. Yeah, I, I had to order impressive. a special bracket to mount it to to my rig, but uh, I'm very mm -hmm. excited to get that hooked up today and try that out. Good stuff. Well, we look forward to seeing. Uh, how those goes in in the next couple of days and yeah. check out that button box as well because uh, it's always cool to see what the community are coming up with in terms of realism uh, for our I games don't... you know <laughs> on their rig as well so which which one's the truck now i didn't, right didn't want to mess it up this time <laughs> yeah we're on the right <laughs> <laughs> who who made this tower it's not clear enough. all right we're going we're going i think we're okay we'll just just roll through here like it's nothing there we go we did it chat we did it first this time try. <laughs> it first second try, try. second try <laughs> good stuff all right well we did kind of ask you which game you you prefer do you have mm -hmm. a preference over either or your truck mates to american truck mates again like i mean being an american i feel like i probably spend more time in american truck now just right. because it's what i what i'm used to and i and i see frequently but again um the amount of time i've spent with euro truck and being with it essentially from the very beginning it, it has mm -hmm. a special place in my heart and i still love playing it but I would say now that I probably spend a bit more time on American Truck. So right, gotcha. love them both you... equally, but I probably spend more time with. Uh, it makes American sense. Truck now. Yeah. And do you have like a favorite area to go trucking in, like in terms um, of the states? Because oh, you're, you're from the East Coast, so we yeah. haven't gone right your way yet. So West Coast. I would, I would like... say, I, like, I like driving um, just the PNW. So like Washington, Oregon, like going down some of the logging roads is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um one of my favorite states though in the u.s is wyoming so it was really cool uh good choice getting to drive through that yeah it's a very i i got to drive through it in real life for the first time uh a couple really? years ago and it, it's Yo. i actually got to do like actually almost the entire route you can do in the game i went from like uh the bottom corner of washington and then drove all the way through wyoming uh back to pennsylvania and, no way um, yeah it's a and, and you guys do a really good job of kind of capturing the feel of a lot of those states again i'm not i'm not a local so i can't speak for everything but uh of course you know wyoming is a very desolate empty just stretch of road in a lot of places it's a massive mm -hmm. state and it's only i think 500 something thousand people live there so uh it has a really cool feel very cowboyish kind of feel to it still mm -hmm. and um did you see about as well the updates are going to be coming to yes uh, cody's well? coming out which is fantastic Heck i'm yeah. very very excited for that very very excited for that yeah, US 14 and Cody, which I know a lot of people are excited for, for sure. Yes. You can check those out. The update on our blog, blog.scsstuff.com. That's going to be coming with the uh, 1.5, 1.45 update for American Truck Simulator, which is kind of crazy to be talking about, considering it's so 1.44 yeah. <laughs> didn't come out it's too so long ago. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, here it comes again. Next, <laughs> next, next lot of updates. And uh, there's some exciting things in the pipeline. Exactly, for sure. yeah. So um, do you have a favorite truck, though? Do you, do you particularly um, kind of truck oh, of with course, one truck when you're driving course. your sim? Or? Um, I would say, well, favorite truck without a doubt in um, American Truck Simulator is, is the Kenworth W900. Um, mm, when I classic. when I briefly drove trucks um, in real life, that was a truck I got to drive in, uh, in real life. Oh, okay. So it's, I, I, I love the way they look. I love the sound of them. And I just, so if, uh, unless something else fancy has happened, if I'm trying to, you know, drive a newer truck, I usually feel like I end up in the W900. No, I didn't even I didn't even know that you drove briefly for yes for a I, did. Well. I did T tell us a little bit more about that was it just a kind of a short kind of career that you had in the trucking industry or uh not super short I, I was I was doing it on and off for a few years I'm actually considering going back into it now slightly um mm. just because I've, I've become so much passionate you know so much passion for this game and stuff but I, I I worry about you know like you know mixing mixing work with fun too much and I'll and I'll start dreading driving and right. driving into the game <laughs> after doing it in real life. But uh, understandable. No, I, 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 I and I think a lot of the, my reason for wanting to drive trucks in real life came from came from these games too. And I I still hold uh I still hold a CDL a license to drive trucks and uh, hopefully one day I'll uh, get to use it again. But um I, awesome. I I got to do just I mean like you know no no real cool stuff. I was just hauling around. Um, you just apply for restaurants and stuff like that. And I think I tapped this guy in front of me, and oh, he's moving now. There he there goes. Go. He goes. <laughs> Didn't there quite break right. hard enough. <laughs> so it was more like local kind of like delivery. Yeah, I, I, I've breakers. never done over the road or anything like that. Although mm. honestly, I I would really like to give it a shot. I yeah. think there's something just really this part of the American spirit. I feel like is really just uh, wanting to get in a truck and drive something across the country. I think there's right. really something just quintessentially American about that. Yeah, seeing different landmarks along the way, you know, the yeah. scenery passing by and all that it good is, stuff as yeah. well. You know, I think 
in my case, like, I think as much as I would love it, I'd, I think I'd love it more if I was the passenger because I feel like it could probably get a bit stressful sometimes or yeah. timing when you're the actual driver. Like, mad respect to all the drivers out there who actually oh, do it for course, real because, yeah. uh, you know... It's a hard job. It is. It's a hard job, yeah. I know yeah. that our games kind of make it look a little bit easier, but yeah. there's, a, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to there it. There is. And, there's, and, and the cool thing about the game is you guys have taken out the annoying aspects of it. You know, you <laughs> got, you know, they're <laughs> like, like, Fire I just know they're like, there's no electronic driver logs. There's no, <laughs> you know, DOT pulling you over to check your tires and stuff. There's none of that. So I think you, uh, you guys have really captured the, the fun of truck driving more than, uh, more than anything else. And I think that's the important thing. That's awesome. That is really awesome to hear. I, I got to try to get this thing back where it's supposed to go. Yeah, what what parking option have you gone for? Are you going for the hard? Oh, oh we, I, I got to go for the hard parking, of oh, course. Of course, of course. I gotta. That is, that is how you feeling about so it. I, oh, I thought I could turn that way, but I can't. <laughs> what did you say? Did you, you go for the easy one? Skip. 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 No, go for skip. Never. No, never. I've never won. No, I have. Sorry, sorry. I will, we'll get out of your way. Let me give me, give me oh. a second here. Well, no, okay, no, I thought I could turn right. And I was like, I'm going to turn right and then just back straight up. And then I realized I can't turn or, or turn <laughs> oh, left no. there. So I was like, I'm going to have to do a really awkward <laughs> turn here and probably jackknife. So. I think you'll be okay. I think yeah. I trust in your, in your trucking skills here. It sounds like you've got a bit of experience. <laughs> so uh, it sounds Sometimes like I do got... better. Like, so, like, like, I get lazy in the game. But sometimes I, like, I'm doing stuff now that I would, that you would never want to do in a real truck. Turning it like, oh, really? Like, oh, yeah. This is, this is dumb what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> No, no. You do, you do what you gotta do. You gotta use the space that you work with. Yeah. I Wait. Know. So this, this is hard parking, right? For this spot. Wait. This is hard parking that we're doing here. Uh, feel free to, feel free to join us if you, if you so wish. If not, I mean, I'm just gonna okay. wait. I'm just gonna wait for you guys, yeah. and then I'll be done in half a second after skipping it. So, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm backing up right now. It shouldn't take too long. Hopefully, the actual back end spot's pretty simple. So. Uh, gotcha. So too much. Would you say that uh, you prefer kind of doing that the more challenging parking, or would you say uh, easier? It depends. Kind of it depends. Like I think um, honestly, I, I find myself now doing kind of like shorter jobs in the game, so I, I, I get to park a lot more, and it's nice. Oh, yeah. Like you know, I honestly feel like a lot of the times it's almost harder to park in um, in Euro Truck Simulator because not, of course, you have you have, you have like a shorter truck and it's a bit easier to turn, but the docks in some of these spots in Europe, uh, it's it's crazy mm. how tight some of the stuff is. So I, I find myself getting stuck a lot more, it seems like, in Euro Truck Simulator. But, yeah, I, I, but thought... I do try to do parking when I can. I do try to... I, I always feel like I'm cheating just a little bit when I don't do it properly. <laughs> I, I, I understand how you feel. And I feel the same way yeah. right now because I've got quite the awkward spot to get into here. Yeah. <laughs> um, that I feel like I'm also going to struggle quite a bit with uh, are you going in that same spot as well, or are you going down there? Uh, I'm going. No, I'm going. Mine's like uh, between like where this red uh, container is and this yellow like trash can back here in the corner. And Davis is just spot. sat there with his pot. Yeah, he's just waiting for us. He's just waiting for us. It's easy. Okay, wait. Actually, let me check. I I, I, I would I, I would be flat out lying if I said I've never skipped parking before on a. Oh, job. That, I, I there is that. there it is. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. That is, that is nice. uh, Wait, do I have the? Honestly, like more the more I do it, is it's for XP. Like if oh. I'm starting a new profile or something and trying to level up, you, you get mm. so much extra XP from uh, doing your precise parking. You do you really? That's, do. that's a big thing that I do now, because I've been trying to do like more new profiles recently. Because I mean, the, the profile I'm on now is I've had for like seven years and. I'm probably the richest man on earth in it, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's fun starting off and having to buy cheap trucks and really fight to make money. I think is where I think a lot of my fun comes from now. Right. Yeah. I mean, we just started our series. I think we're what, 11 yeah. I saw that. Steep. Yeah. You guys are doing a very similar thing. Yeah. Doing doing legit driving and uh, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a bit of a challenge. I mean, I just sit there and chat. Nimo is the one actually doing all the driving. Yeah. But, um... <laughs> he has the hard job. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. All right. Deliver my trailer here. Are you okay? So, so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna explain. Oh, to no. you what I wasn't paying attention. To no, that. I'm gonna explain to you what I was trying to go for here, right? Uh huh. After yeah. my truck stops. So yeah. I saw you. You have the same parking spot as me, right? And I saw you right. go from the right side. So I was like, I'm not gonna be generic, and I'm not gonna repeat. I'm, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> just gonna copy your style. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go from the left side, and yeah, this is what I picked from the left side. 
Oh, yeah. Darius. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. But we'll do it. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I'll get out somehow, maybe one day. Somehow, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no worries. Uh, all right. Well, um, carrying on with the questions then while Darius is uh, maneuvering himself yeah, here. Would you say you prefer kind of like day driving or night driving more? I'm definitely a day driving guy. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. Because I feel like, I mean, although like the ambiance of night driving is, is, is fantastic. I, I feel like you miss a lot of the scenery driving at uh, driving at night. That's so I feel true. like usually for the most part, I'm driving during the day. But um, every once true. in a while, it's nice. You, you put like, you know, turn on the end game radio a little bit and listen to the radio and drive through the night. I think that's a, uh, I really do enjoying that. But for the most part, I, uh, I'm mm. a daytime driver. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I, I understand as well. I mean, the lighting update that we had a few versions ago really helped with the yeah. night driving. That's for sure. It, it used to be very, very dark when you were driving. Yeah. Before oh, that, yeah. There's a little bit of light now. So yeah. Um, and it's also it's also easier in Europe too because you can you can put so much more lights on your truck too. That's true. You, know, you can you can put all these lights on the roof and on and on your front bumper and stuff. It makes it a bit easier to flip on your brights and see a bit farther down the road. That's very true. And do you kind of have a? more particular kind of like cargo or trailer that you lean towards when you're delivering or will you take anything? Oh man, it depends. I usually, usually what pays the most per mile or kilometer is kind of, is kind of my go-to for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, I've realized recently that I, you, I've only recently begun to kind of buy my profiles trailers to use to make money. And I've realized that like um, an American truck simulator, if I buy like the low boy trailer, I can make a lot of money with those compared oh, okay. to like a grain hopper or something. So um i like hard machinery um stuff like that but again usually if i'm just doing um if i'm just doing freight jobs i'll pick whatever pays the most um per distance and just kind of go right. for it i think most people kind of go for that strategy just kind of yeah like yeah if you're trying to make money as much money as yeah. possible from a role-playing perspective you know i mean you know it's fun to like just pick a certain kind of trailer and just do jobs in it for a while fairly frequently hmm. as well if i'm not trying to make money um, yeah. Like like the new Load King um, DLC came out for American Truck Simulator, yeah, it did. Um, which 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 grain hoppers don't make a lot of money as far as as far as jobs go. But it's so, so good looking. It's they look good so good. <laughs> but like I, 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 one of my main American Truck profiles right now, I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to level up. So it's like, am I really gonna put down this low boy that's making me like seventy dollars a mile and and then take this thing cross country for like twenty dollars a mile? I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I think that's fair enough. I think okay, guys, I'm, I'm oh, done. Yes. It was beautiful, amazing parking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, you had a good crack go. at it. I mean, you were close. You what were do you mean? I, I finished it. It was you were close, easy. But, uh, so much no, experience was... at it. <laughs> easy. You were just too busy talking and you didn't see it. Uh huh. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. There we go. Well, I think we still got time for one more yeah, let's, uh, yeah. let's, job somewhere. Let's, so let's, let's have a, a quick look through that market, see what Darius can find for us. Uh, somewhere a little bit nearby probably i imagine we'll do the job here so let's see what we can't pick up and again folks uh, if you haven't already make sure to give big daddy lugnut uh, a follow over on the socials that will be posted in the chat every five minutes so you got your twitter you got your uh, discord on there and your twitch do you have any other socials that we, we missed out on there? Um, you, you said you do I, YouTube I do have a well. youtube as well it's just mm. big daddy lugnut essentially anything that you find with big daddy lugnut's probably me <laughs> um, but uh, twitter probably. twitter and twitch are the main ones um, right. I, we're not. Yeah, that's 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 usually where you're gonna find us. Um, but uh, I'd be, I'm trying to do some more YouTube videos uh, coming up as well. So YouTube as well. Uh, big there you go. Time. And then our Discord is on there as well. Um, it the is. Bingo Zone Discord. That is that's where we hang out. Um, we have our own little whole simulator sec. It's actually my wife's Discord. Um, oh, we okay. have our own simulator section. Uh, we have our own chat. Our own um, big text stream where you can post a bunch of photos and stuff. So uh, and that's also for flight simulators and, and race simulators as well. So uh, we've got an awesome so. mix of people in there. Awesome. And do you do like community convoys yourself as well? Yes, your, I do. I've been trying to get more going. Um, we're kind of reaching the point now where we have enough people to actually do it, which is fantastic. And uh, awesome. I'm, I'm going to hopefully soon get like a weekly night set up where we can all together uh, get on and uh, just truck together because I don't think there's anything more fun than that. I think it sounds fantastic. Okay. That sounds so really good. So once again, oh. there's... I don't know. Apparently, this company as well loves long distances, uh -huh. and yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm thinking maybe we could pick this one to Zurich and just like stop yeah. on in Salzburg or something. I've got. Yeah, I've, fine. Uh, did we come? Where did we come from? We didn't come from Salzburg. Linz. We came we? from Linz. I, think. I do have yeah, a job. Started. 
to Salzburg if you I should check what I have. I've I've just been sitting here and making yeah, videos all the way. Let me see what I have. I I've got a job to Salzburg. It's you, you um, it straw bales. We can yeah, take that take if you want to. Yeah. But oh wait, hang on. They say it's from Graz, but you pick it up from like a different location. Oh, let me let me change it, it by oh, route fine. length and I'll go to the shortest. That's fine, we can drive there. There you go. I've 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 got a job that you can copy. Okay. You can copy there. I have I have a one that's only two hundred and seventy eight kilometers that's going to it's somewhere going somewhere in the Czech Republic, which if I say Darius will probably laugh at me, so I don't want to try to pronounce that town. <laughs> so I've got I've got I've got one within Austria, so I think I think we're good. Oh you perfect, that's even better. All right. Copy it off of me. It? Yeah, copy it off of me, we'll go okay. pick up our trailers. Oh okay, so we have and, uh, to move, right? Before what's that? we have to move from here. It's an yeah, we'll, okay. we'll be driving. We'll be driving from okay, here. Yeah, to so where you, the you go first. Okay, I, I suppose. Yep, I'll head out. Right. I'll head out. We'll get Big uh, Daddy Lagna also yeah. driving with us here. Um, Parking brake was still on. It's all good. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Just hold up here for a second so we can get everybody together. Oh, after you. Oh, actually, after you. Really, one quick thing I need to do here. So I'm pretty sure I thought I had it off, but I think my speed limiter is also on. Wait, which we definitely, we definitely, definitely uh, go by the rules here of uh, <laughs> of driving with a speed limit, of course. Of course, of always. Course. Yeah, uh, where is where is it actually? It's. Uh... Do you know? What? It's fine. Don't worry. We'll be fine. I'm a law-abiding trucker. Let's go. Let's make a move here. Cool. All right, so while we're driving on our way to go pick up our second job here, chat, uh, we've got a big question coming up here for uh, Big Daddy oh Lugnut. One we've told you to prepare for a little bit. We say prepare, yes. but it was like yes. literally just before the stream. So <laughs> not much preparation, in fact. <clears throat> but if you could bring any feature or features or new additions, content, etc., etc., uh, to your Truck Simulator 2 and or American Truck Simulator, what would it be? I imagine, like yourself, a lot of content creators always get a lot of questions from chat for where is this? Are they going to add this? Are they going to do that? Mm -hmm. uh, in your head, what would something you'd bring ASAP? What would you love to see? Um, I, I think you guys recently, like you guys have been like knocking it out of the park as far as upgrading older sections of the map. Mm. Um, I think that has been that that's been needed, and I, and I think it's it's fantastic looking. Like Austria looks so 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 good. Like I was just pretty. amazed at how about how awesome it looked. So. I would just say keep on updating those older areas of the map. I think, uh, I think as far, I mean, like you know, as far as features that the game has, I think we're in a great spot. I think the ability to, to really give a lot of options as far as how to drive a truck, you can do it automatic, man. You make it as easy or as hard as possible. Um, but I think again, I mean, just making the map look great, making a, uh, making the scenery stick out and look good, mm. I think is a uh, is, is a massive step in the right direction. I think Austria looks fantastic. And if we could make everything look as good as Austria. <laughs> We'd be perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, we definitely appreciate the compliments and yeah. we'll be sure to pass on the comments to the teams that are involved as well. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I mean, the work will continue to be ongoing yeah. as well, both in Euro Truck Simulator 2 and American Truck Simulator. And mm -hmm. uh, so, the, but there's nothing on your head in, in mind of something new that you would bring oh, or something, man. a feature that's think, kind I'm of like trying to think long new. requested feature that you've been thinking about uh, wanting this for ages. I, I, mean, I mean, there's obviously, there's always like, you know, like little simple stuff that'd be a nice thing to add. I mean, um, I, I definitely love, um, I think American Truck Simulator is, is just starting to get the love of having licensed trailers, and right. I'm happy to see that. Um, so I would love to see some more licensed trailers in the future as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, and I, again, I was so excited because, you know, you have Crone and, and, and um, Sprites Mueller and ETS Dube and seeing Load King come to ATS. I'm I, I, I hoping that's just the beginning of a, of a long and prosperous future of, of uh, trailer DLCs to see, but I would definitely love to see some more licensed trailers. Because there's a lot of awesome trailer manufacturers in the U.S. and Canada and uh, have a whole bunch of interesting design choices and whatnot. I think that'd be really cool to see in the future. Definitely. We'll definitely uh, keep working on that. Uh, I yeah. imagine there are some things in the pipeline down the way that we can't talk about just yet. Yeah, but we'll, sure, we'll definitely sure. keep that in mind yeah. uh, for sure. But uh, yeah, chat, if you have any suggestions as well, because I know you love to give us suggestions and ideas as well. We love to hear them. Make sure to go post them on our forms, forms.scssoft.com. You have the uh, dedicated sections there for both ECS2 and ATS where you can post your suggestions and wish lists. And uh, we do take uh, in those into consideration. A lot of our team actually do uh, read the forms quite often and maybe, surprise, surprise, 
who knows maybe even in the near future yeah. you might see some uh re much requested additions come into both games uh hint hint wink wink but we won't say any more anything more about <laughs> that so uh <laughs> that's my that's my little hint that nimro usually does on most streams that I, i'm uncovering for him this time so i hope i didn't make it too obvious but <laughs> no you know, it was it was actually so subtle that even i have no idea what you meant so exactly yeah, yeah exactly but it just goes to show we are listening chat yes. we are listening we are definitely uh listening um oh, I right. have a question oh, God, no. i'm not sure if this is on your schedule of your in your script or something mm -hmm. but just so we don't leave it out can we Go talk about the big daddy meeting our team in canada or d i yeah. would love to talk about yeah. that because that was fantastic. please do please that do was, um so I, I I wasn't even aware the truck world was even was even a thing that was happening, and you guys posted about it on your social medias, and I looked at where it was, and it was in Toronto, which I was living in Pittsburgh at the time, which it's a good six hour drive to get up there. But my wife's family is from Toronto. I lived in Toronto for a number of years, so it was kind of just like going home for us for a little while. Right. And um, it it worked out perfectly, and uh, it was an absolutely amazing event. I got to meet a bunch of people from the team there. They were all fantastic, and uh, this actually happened shortly after. Uh, you guys raided my stream originally, and uh, we got to talk about that a little bit. And uh, I got to hand out some stickers to them and stuff, and it was great. We got to see. Um, I mean, they. I mean, there was some really cool stuff there too, obviously. Mm. But just getting to hang out with the guys and getting photos with them, it was, it was a dream come true. It was fantastic, and they were all super friendly and super nice. And uh, yeah, we got. I was there. I think for all three days, I got to go down there and hang out and see the big event. Awesome. But, uh, I would definitely love to see you guys back there again if they have it. I would, uh, I would love to go. Again. I'm sad that I wasn't there. That uh, I yeah, wish I could it was go. a lot of fun. But uh, oh gosh, I haven't gone the right way here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it sounded like it was it was fantastic because obviously we were there mm -hmm. cooperating with um, with uh, Western Star and uh, and that lot as well with their booths and uh, it was it was it was really cool to see how many people actually did just come and turn up. Uh, there was a lot of people. There was a big event. Yeah. It was a really, really large event. There's a lot of cool trucks to check out there as well, which I, I'm sure uh, the likes of Namira and Oscar and others as well checked out for sure. It, uh, it was cool close. too because um, there was uh, they had a Scania there as well. I did hear they, about they, this. They brought it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they brought in a Scania, and um, it, I that I mean because I was walking around and you know you see there's you know there's internationals, there's Freightliners and all this stuff, but then I saw this mud flap. <laughs> and I was like, I was looking at it. I'm like, oh my god, it says Scani on it. And I, I walk around, and sure enough, there's this big mining spec Scani. And, and, and I got to climb inside of it and sit in really? it. Really? Uh... And it's so crazy when you've sat in the cab of a truck that you've sat in for, you know, 800 hours in a game, and then <laughs> sitting in it in real life and being like, yep, that's where that button is. Because I'm like, I'm so used to that cab. Right. And then being able to go inside of it was really, really cool, actually. That's awesome. And uh, I mean, was it like in terms of size of the actual expo? It was like basically every single manufacturer you could think of there or it was, yeah i i mean like at least all the u.s ones i mean mac uh kenworth freightliner peterbilt they were i mean everybody was there as far as i could think of and a lot of the trailer manufacturers and some other companies as well who handled like logistics and stuff but it was a massive event it really was that's really um, awesome. i think we we spent two days walking around the entire thing mm -hmm. and you know uh getting to meet people from all over they i mean this just getting to see and in some of the new trucks as well they had like the like the brand new black edition mac anthem uh, that looks all awesome and getting to go in that love thing. it i love mac anthems too it's like my one of my other trucks i like i'm actually wearing a mac shirt right now oh uh, let's go but, uh, represent <laughs> yeah yeah i love uh, i love the mac anthem too so that was awesome and international had some really cool stuff there all the new freightliners all the new western stars so it, it was awesome to be able to kind of go around and sit in some of the trucks and really get a closer look at him that's i'm, I'm jealous now i gotta say i'm jealous because yeah. uh, i didn't get to hear much it about the event so, it uh, was a lot of fun i heard that the, the guys had a great time and they met a lot of really cool people yeah. and I, I i'm sorry that i didn't realize sooner that you had actually gone to that as well i didn't i didn't actually realize yeah that. i i did that was and uh i mean you guys are obviously the main reason i went mm. i uh as much as i love trucks i feel like uh knowing that you guys were going to be there really was the was the main <laughs> i mean it's our first time over in canada i believe there. right uh so. yeah and, and that was a lot of the guys i was uh, talking to were saying that um a lot of them had never even been in north america before no. so they were kind of getting to experience uh canada and the united states and stuff and uh i hope everybody had a good and, and safe rest of their trip but uh yeah it was really it was really fun everybody was super friendly and i got to spend a lot of time just hanging out and talking to them awesome that's fantastic and like it, i mean and you guys were nice enough to give me an ats hat and a shirt oh you got well. it oh, i'm happy about made, that man i'm glad yeah, they, got they made my it, it made my entire like month i was so happy <laughs> i felt like a hero i was so excited that's, oh actually do you want to take the secret route 
I say a secret route. Let's take this, of course. Duh. Yeah, a secret route. Yeah. I don't actually even have it mapped yet. There we go. But I probably should. What do you Let's mean? Go. What do you mean secret route? It's. Da I mean Darius. It's not it's, like it's already on my map for some reason. It's not on my. I mean, we've already been down. It's not on my map on either. My map, yeah. yeah. Which is another new feature of 1.44, isn't it? The fact that you can actually uh, see the uh, the routes now on the map. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, no, that's great. I'm really happy that you had a great time, and it's quite rare that we get to go out th head out that way. I think the last yeah. time we were in America, uh, I think we were there for a few little separate occasions. But in terms of a public event, I, I, I might be I might be wrong, but I think it was when me and Oscar were there back in 2019 for PAX West wow. in Seattle. We went to we went to Seattle. Um, I was lucky enough to be there with the guys from Thrustmaster, and that was that was weird because we just released Washington not that long up before. Oh, that's good timing. And man. then. Um, actually seeing all that stuff in real life was just like weird like on a smaller scale of course in, in the game but uh it's kind of like yeah. oh yeah that's this road and that's that when we're on the floating bridge and we're, you know it's really weird <laughs> it's very very weird but um but yeah no i'm really happy that you had to you had a great time out there and hopefully we can get out your way again soon um yeah i would again if you guys ever make it out to an area that i am somehow able to make it to i would uh I'd, i would love to come back out again and hang out well, i mean I'll, i mean hey I might try to make it to a European event one day too, if you guys. That would be cool. <laughs> but uh, if, I mean, jump on a plane. And if there's any trucking events you know of happening in your area, just give us a, a little ping, and I'll yeah, I'll, I'll course, see if I can't convince course. the boss to send me over or yeah. Darius or myself or whoever <laughs> you know on a, a business trip. You know, that's we call it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Of strictly course. business chat. Strictly business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And no I, fun allowed. I just wanted to add because you you mentioned the rate, right? You you got rated by yes. our channel before that. And and I was told that apparently you were very grateful on the on the event. You you were saying that you are very grateful for the yeah. raid and uh, that it was an amazing experience for you to get raided by by SES and yeah, it it's, was, it's it very was. nice to hear that. You know, it's uh, that's I just wanted to say to you that it's very kind to to have such a positive feedback. Oh, no, of course. And uh, of course. because you know that that's what we do, me and Alex and even the Miro every time i mean we're yeah. just trying to support our content creators whenever we see mm -hmm. somebody after this and i can tell and you guys do a fantastic job of it and, and it was great timing because that was uh, it was my first 12 hour stream i was doing a 12 hour truck oh, stream, which really? i'm actually doing another yeah. one on the 25th i'm doing my second one oh, that's good. and i remember i going to bed that night after streaming for 12 hours i think i did like a one-to-one -one. so I, w I was exhausted i remember just watching the clip of you guys streaming over and over again and it was it was i was just so happy and so excited about it and it it, like, like that like made my entire month like that was just the best thing that had ever happened to me at the time and it was just like the craziest thing and it all kind of still feels even, even being here now kind of still feels like a dream of course that's really um, cool yeah, yeah. I mean, we, just because i mean i've loved these games for so long and actually sit down with you guys and, and to hang out is, is just it doesn't feel real I mean, uh, it's great it's always great to hear the other side of the story because like it's not often that we, we do get to hear it so it's really cool that we get to mm -hmm. to hear how it's you know affected you and, and all sorts as well so um it's also happened to me darius i gotta say we've lost the job uh the job the job the job is gone <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So, i mean we don't unfortunately we don't have that long left time wise uh. so i propose we just we just we just free roam for the last last ten minutes. Let's just make I the mean, most of it together let, and let me check, enjoy the weather. Give me a Let's second. Just... Let me take a look because like this is this is not possible. It's this fine. Is... It's 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 only it's only ten minutes or so. It's, yeah. it's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's... You know. Oh, one of my friends uh, is in the chat right now. He was actually at Truck World with us. Oh, really? And he got to say he got to sit in a truck. Oh, well, yeah. UFOs are very real down there. That's my one of my friends. Uh, he's actually he's one of the guys who helps with our videos and stuff as well. He's oh. part of the. We call it the Lugnut Media Group. He's part of that. He helps us out with everything as well. But he, uh, so we actually dragged some non-truck fans to Truck World with us. Oh wow! And uh, it was, so we all had a fun time, just kind of hanging out. Uh, it was like I think like six or seven of us came with, like with me, and uh, only I think two of us even cared at all. About what was going on. <laughs> well, that is really fantastic. No, thank you for making that trip, and I'm sure it made our guys' day as well. In the likes of Namira and Oscar, I imagine you spoke to them all while you were down there. So that's oh yeah, they were everyone was fantastic. They were all super friendly and. Willing to, I mean, I, I, I think I just stood next to your booth for like three hours and just <laughs> talked, and they were super, super great, super, super no, great. That's that's great to hear. No, thank you. We really appreciate you and your community as well.
25th. We'd love to yeah. support you a little bit with that, maybe with some uh, keys to give away or some sort as yeah, well. Thank so you. Uh, yeah. definitely keep in contact with us about that. We'll definitely drop by and say hello yeah, for course. sure. And again, yeah, the, the current schedule now is is Mondays at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time mm -hmm. and then Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. That's our current schedule. Stuff might change. There's more stuff thrown in there randomly as well, but that's the current schedule. But um, I'm trying to kind of get more on a on an actual weekly schedule now, so I'm not just randomly streaming at random times. And there's primer reason to things. Yeah, no, I get you. It can, 